Everybody loves a good road trip. The freedom, the adventure, the surprises. All you need is a great road and a great ride. And we've got them both. Imagine driving on some of the most scenic and challenging roads in the Pacific Northwest, behind the wheel of one phenomenal car. Sound too good to be true? It's happening right now on Shut Up and Drive. Hello, I'm Justin Bell. And I'm Townsend Bell. Before you ask, no relation. Hallelujah. But we are here together outside the beautiful Allison Inn and Spa in the heart of the Oregon wine country because we're going on a road trip. We're heading up on what is perhaps every guy's dream drive. Haven't you ever been in the car with your buddy, found a fantastic piece of road and gone, God, I wish I had this all to myself. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're heading up to the world famous Rowena Loops and the road is being closed off just for us. No police, no oncoming traffic. Just the two of us, our own private racetrack. We've chosen the 2013 Lexus Chia Sport Sedan. And you can tell just by looking at this at first glance, it's a real departure for Lexus, a much more aggressive front end look. I'm just wondering, this car looks like it means business. Does it drive as good as it looks? Well, we're about to find out because it's time to shut up and drive. Hey, Justin, why don't you shut up? I'll drive. It's not very nice. It was a beautiful hotel though, wasn't it? Hotel was great. I think they wanted to warm us up nicely. Nice wine, nice hotel. And I, I think it's going downhill for the rest it, of the road It wouldn't be trip. the first time. I did go with the uh, lemon scented salt bath last night. I don't know about you, yes. but uh, it was a lovely soak. Had the fireplace on in the room. These Rowena loops, I've heard a lot about, and it's everybody's dream to uh, you know go to a, go to a spot with a road, shut down, and really test the limits of a car. And I'm excited about this car because I've heard so much about how Lexus intends for this car to really change the face of their brand. It sort of teases you to say, uh, you know, come try me. You've got to give full props though to this screen. I've never got in a car and seen something dominating the dashboard like this. This is something that, uh, you know, James Cameron would salivate over. Townsend is already trying to work out quite how many laws and what we can abuse on the car in the There's opening school. <laughs> nine seconds. Now you are from a part of the world where it rains all the time. You're a rain driving expert, so tell me a few things I need to know here about yeah. driving in the rain, Justin. You also reminded me that no wonder British people are habitually depressed when you sum it up like that. God, no, that's why I've moved. Um, yeah, it does rain a lot. I mean, it's a great equalizer. Um, you can either be brilliant on the day or you, know, you can make up for bad equipment and you know if you've got a, if you've got good traction and you you know you've got a good start you could like make five places ten places up on the grid um, I think it's a pretty good way for us to test this car out we're teammates now on this road trip and and we share the last, same last name so maybe we should like just for to make our resumes look better, we should like mix our race results and just say, you know, under the name Bell, uh, of course, we have uh, a Le Mans win mm -hmm. uh, in GT uh, and Indy Lights Championship. Indy Lights Championship. We have a uh, great job at Indy, by the way, last year with the fourth place qualifying. I got text. I was on Twitter. Wick, wickedly <laughs> edgy there. In the you did very round. well as well in that Viper in the World Championship. Yes. You know, winning yeah. that. Well, we should be getting paid more. That's so what I just worked out. Different mothers suggest the same father. My dad was quite athletic in his day. So now we're up here in the clouds. We know we're about 700 feet above the Columbia River. Mm -hmm. I actually thought it'd be a, a good time for our first stop. But actually I, uh, in true pioneering spirit, actually quite enjoy a bit of sightseeing. This is a driving show. Um, but here's a special one. I'm gonna let you guess what this is. I have to say, that's uh, pretty impressive. It must be some kind of war memorial or something. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It cost $100,000 in 1918, and everyone had an uproar about it. So it is actually a restroom, a toilet. Seriously. An outhouse. I Thank feel you. cultured, I feel enriched. All right, let's go ahead and enter our next destination into the Inform navigation screen here. Inform me. Inform. The journey is just getting started. When we come back, we've got more open road action. Oh, hey. Been a long time since you've seen any sort of trophy with your name on it. 
And later, it's the ride of a lifetime as we lock off one of the most incredible stretches of road and let this baby loose. Woo! Keep your eyes on the road. This is Shut Up and Drive. Welcome back to Shut Up and Drive. We're heading to the legendary Rowena Loops for a once-in-a-lifetime driving experience. This jerky is spicy. But as we wind through the mountains, I've got my eyes open for some more scenic stops along the way. So as is blatantly obvious to everyone that is watching this show so far, you have done all the driving, which gives you the I am best. a professional after all. Oh, nice. Thanks. Retire me. I like this car. It's, uh, it's got a level of sportiness. It's got a throatiness to the exhaust note when we get into the upper rev range. I like the steering wheel. The seats are comfortable, very supportive. It has 306 horsepower. It is a, a, a big car, yet actually it seems to pull. I mean, you get on the gas. I can appreciate the fact that from the first thing you see with this car, you see some tension, you see a little bit of anger, you see a little bit of attitude in the styling, because I don't think you can be in the luxury market these days without being in the sporting market. And how do you find going between the various modes down here? When I go to sport mode, I'm gonna just go one click over. Now I'm into angry sport mode. S, I'm in angry, I see the eyes of the dragon. By that he I, means the dash has gone red. If I can, and it'll tell me up on the display here what I get. So what I get is, with Sport, is I get engine remapping. If I go one more click to Sport Plus, I see I'm getting dampers, I'm getting steering, uh, adaptive steering, so the steering's gonna tighten up a bit at speed. It does also give you the throttle blip on the downshift. Ah, which, good point. I mean, obviously, you might need. Does it always rain up here? You know, I've been here in the rain, I've been here in the dry, but I've never been here in February. And uh, last time I was here would have been June, IndyCar Race Weekend at uh, Portland International Raceway. One of my favorite tracks, by the way. I love the track, but I've uh, never been here this time of year. I mean, it is gorgeous in the summer, though. In the big days of IMSA, they were obviously up at Portland, and then always a great place to come to. That chicane off the back straightaway with those curves was absolutely magic in a champ car. Yeah, you, I used to remember, because we were the supporting race, we would go and stand on the outside of those corners yep. there, like as you come to those S's and, and you know, in, in a smaller Formula car, it was obviously easy flat out. Yep. God, it was bloody quick. Look at that. Look at the mountains. Holy cow, look at that. That is fabulous. That's pretty impressive. Wow. Okay, it's a great place to stop. Oh, little nav system did a good job there. Not too shabby. 620 foot tall. Indian legend has it that the uh, falls were created for an, a princess to bathe in. A princess? Yeah. Well, we've got the princess. I'll get the soap. You have it. It's more like a shower. <laughs> you know, Tanzan, I know it's bloody cold up here, but it really is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I, I gotta say, once you're up here, you see the waterfall. I mean, this is the kind of memory that's gonna last a lifetime. This is true road trip memory right here. It is. All this makes you feel like it's just for us, eh? No, I'm cold. Let's go. I'm really glad that my culture and my love of tourist attractions is rubbing off on you, because after all, you can't just have a journey all about the destination. Oh, I love these shops. It's nice. Look at all this stuff. Funny feeling we might need this later. Oh, hey, been a long time since you've seen any sort of trophy with your name on it, so uh, why don't I get you this? Justin. Thank you so much. You know where your name is? Huh. Nowhere. Oh, there you are. Fair enough. At least I'm on a mint. The sightseeing is over. When we come back, we're locking off the Rowena Loops and turning it into our own private race course. Townsend and I are going to go head to head on the open road. The bit he's coming up to now is the hardest part, the most treacherous. Hold on tight. Woo, that was close. Because Shut Up and Drive is revving up. Welcome back. Well, we're here at the Rowena Loops, finally. We've completed Justin's tourism and cultural adventure, and we've learned a lot about the new GS. So I think this is where we get started, right, Justin? It is, mate, but like all good racing drivers, we owe it to ourselves and the car to check out the track a bit before we go, because, you know, snow and stuff aren't conditions we're used to. And if that sign has anything to do with it, it might be time well spent.
One of the things you notice right away is that virtually all of the corners camber in the direction of the corner, which is really nice on a mountain road to have positive camber everywhere. It actually looks quite a well-engineered road, doesn't it? It's, yeah. They've done a pretty good job. This is the first time I've ever done a track walk or survey with snow, ice, rocks. Oh my God. <laughs> and deer. And deer. Oh, oh my gosh. More Look umbrella. at those things. You haven't noticed, finally, I get the steering wheel. I'm just putting that in the captain's log. Just looking from now versus a while ago, I, I think we, we've even seen some of these rocks appear in the last few minutes. The other thing is, is it's rolling weather change. Yeah. We have fog, we have rain. This is the worst section. You've got on the left-hand side, you've got a completely blind corner sheer cliff face with heavy, large rock falling. And on the right-hand side, you've got an, uh, sort of a, a ditch almost where the road tightens up, and that's, that's the exit of danger. You can tell it's just like so rough on the there inside. Is some, there is some debris on but the road. But as you say, it's all cambered off. Yeah, yeah. it is. They clear those, because my line's nice and tight. Yours might be a little, I guess, wider. You know, one of the issues you got is some of this gravel does wash down as it rains you here. You take the so. big rock. I've been doing all the heavy lifting so oh, far. Oh, thank you very much. Ah. So between deer and rocks. It's about as good as we're going to get it. Yeah. Tell you what, this is really soft and mucky and slippery. Yeah. I wish I hadn't done that. That's a big drop. And <laughs> stupid fucker. This is actually like a medieval crash barrier when you think about it. Yeah, it might work for something like a Model T, but uh, you know, we've done the survey now, Justin. We know this road inside and out, at least at a slow pace. There's only one thing left to do. Let's get it on. For once, I agree. Let's shut it down. All right, guys, let's shut the road. Lock it up. Helicopter 19 on scene. Helicopter 19, helicopter 19. Northbound, locked up. Well, Townsend, the scene is set. We know the challenge. The Rowena Loops are now our very own private racetrack. But it's a little bit rainy. Rainy? Justin, the fog's here. There's snow on the road. There's gravel. I mean, these are treacherous conditions. The system on the car and the drivers are gonna be put to the test. So how are we gonna make this fair then? Well, we've got a GPS centimeter perfect timing system manned by our guy Jake right here. So there's no way that you can cheat. As if I would. We are good to go. I do know that your performance is measured in millimeters. Yes. Well, I don't race for nothing. So Neither what, do I. What are the stakes? I race for high stakes. In fact, I often race for stakes. So why don't we do the in-car concierge system. We find the most expensive restaurant in all of Oregon, run up a big tab, the winner enjoys a meal fit for a champion, the loser buys. I'm quite confident, so I'll go with that. Okay, who's gonna go first? Tails. Oh, yes. Right, well, be I get fast, you, be I'm safe. Use, I'm gonna use your tires up. I know you hey, are. Hey, take your time when you're out there. I will. Okay. It's about to get racy. Well, things look really nice for me. Well, they do from my point of view. It is now officially fogged in. So, uh, well, in all seriousness, do be careful because it is a pretty treacherous road. Shut up. You know, the biggest problem with Townsend, his downfall will be that he's quick, obviously, and he's younger than me, but he has a very large ego. We'll trip him up, swatch. The challenge is set, bell versus bell. There's no going back. Stick around because it's pedal to the metal time on Shut Up and Drive. I can barely contain my excitement. It's the moment of truth here on Shut Up and Drive. Townsend and I are going to battle it out to see who is the Shut Up and Drive champ. We've locked off the Rowena Loops and we've turned this incredible stretch of highway into the most unforgiving race course in the world. No speed limits, no distractions, no excuses. Just the Lexus GS and the Rowena Loops. Townsend is up first and I've got a bird's eye view of his run. Any driver would kill to be in his shoes right now. Mm -hmm. 
So what's going to be fun is we've got these different camera angles for this run. So you're going to be looking right at me and you're going to be able to see out the front as well. So uh, we're getting ready to go. We're at the bottom of the hill. Fog's rolling in again. It'd be kind of awful if he got lost, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, Townsend, when you're ready. Three, two, one. Go! A little heavy on the brakes there. It's really nice having that heads up display so I know what gear I'm in. A little slippery through the middle across all of that gravel. Fading out to the edge of the road. Woo, that was close. It's so hard to gauge how quick you're going when you're standing up here. Down to second. Into this tight, long left-hander. And out, go, 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 go! I think Justin's gonna struggle back there a little bit. The bit he's coming up to now is the hardest part, the most treacherous. This is the tight corner with the sketchy exit. There it is, up inside, whoa, Nelly. It's very dangerous, intimidating. I hope he's intimidated, I have to tell you. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Looks quite quick, actually. Hang on, 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 hang on. Woo! That Woo! was... What was that like? Oh, so sketchy. I know. Really sketchy. I could see you, couldn't see you, oh. couldn't see you. It was like I could hear the voice. That was amazing. A couple of times I thought I could get in deep and then it was like, whoop. I heard the sound of lots of gravel being thrown out, which yeah, isn't a good thing. Well, you know. So how did the car handle? Oh man, it's good. You know, we spent so much time in this thing, I had a lot of confidence just knowing where the limit is. So brakes were fantastic. Were they? Yeah. yeah. What about the road? The road is absolute <laughs> and uh, that's the way it should be. All right. So any last words for uh, wisdom, if you have any? Go big or go home. Go big or go back home. You'd be a lousy team manager. Come on, you'll be fine. Okay, I'm ready. Oh wait, your skirt's in the trunk. Let me get that. So an absolutely perfect situation for me. This fog layer has just rolled in heavy. The rain's starting to come down. So Justin's about ready to get started. I just need to check the car out in case he's left like systems unarmed or armed. It's not that I don't trust him. But I don't trust him. Justin, it looks absolutely magical at the top for you. Did he seem kind of gloaty to you? Three, two, one, go! Tell you what, that rain is not helping things out. Oh, slippery. As soon as you cross the yellow lines, it's really nasty. Look at he left all that gravel all across the road. Oh, he just got across the center line. I can see he lost a little bit of traction there. Dives in early. Man, I can't even see him. I lost him in the fog. Oh, God, we're heading into the fog now. I can't even see one guy. I can't hear him. You think he was quicker than me here? I hope he wasn't quicker than me here. Oh, boy, I can hear the engine really going. Well, we'll see, won't we? Oh man, how was it? <laughs> it was brilliant. 
I mean, I was driving blind that last top part. It was great, the car did great. All the way up, I'm thinking, am I fast in Townsend? What does he do here? It was pretty cool. Man, it was really crazy because the fog is so thick and all you can see is those little LED lights piercing through. And then when you came through here, it went quiet for the longest time. I thought you'd gone off. Can you tell him we'll wound up? It's so brilliant. We, we both had our runs now. We don't know the results, but we'll be right back to find out who's buying dinner. Welcome back to Shut Up and Drive. The splits were tight through every checkpoint. I think Justin's gonna struggle back there a little bit. I hope he wasn't quicker than me here. Now we get to find out which driver clocked the best time. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Woo! What a nasty piece of work. It's almost the moment of truth when we find out which one of us was fastest. But before we do, I gotta say, this really was a unique road trip. This was really awesome. And the chance to culminate here at this amazing road in a great car, it's been every guy's dream and I've had a blast. But who won? It is time to ruin this new friendship by finding out. Jake, can I have the results? Here you are. All right. At the halfway mark, at one mile. Ooh, fading out to the edge of the road. We were equal. Oh, yeah. Why do you look so disappointed? <laughs> I'm actually quite happy about that. And as we cross the finish line, 2.3 miles later. <laughs> do you want fish or steak? Nice! <laughs> With a time of 2 minutes 12 flat, you are the winner. I did 2 minutes 14, 33. Well, in fairness, you did hit the fog at the top and you haven't driven a real lap in anger since about Formula Ford, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. You know what they say about gracious winners? There aren't any. Much as it pains me to say, well done. It was a valiant attempt, but don't worry, we'll give you another chance. I bet you will. I hope you enjoyed this road trip as much as we did. See you next time on Shut Up and Drive. We have a good last name. Do you know what Bell, Bells were though? I don't. Bells were a Scottish fighting clan that yes. headed south, yes. causing mayhem, a little bit of pillaging, a lot of playing with pretty girls. I think they got decimated by some ghouls. Cheerio. Hello, darling. <laughs>